Hey guys, welcome back again to another Android M versus Android N videos. And this is the third video of the series. We have already watched the uh, boot time. And previously we looked on the quick action panel for the Android M and N and we compared. So my idea of this video is not just to uh, show the Android M users how the Android N could look like if you're going to update it, but to all the Android fans uh, running the KitKat and the Lollipop and all the lower versions. So how the both OSs are and what Google is going up to. So this is the idea of this video. And also, uh, just to, you know, give the uh, complete detailed explanation of what all things are changing in Android M from Android M. So let's begin. So I have two devices with me. This is Nexus 6 uh, running the Android N and this is uh, Nexus 6P. Uh, both have uh, the stock Androids and they are pretty really, really fast devices. And let me show you guys quickly the build number then, uh, okay, before we will see the build number later and we will first open the settings. And here are the settings. I have made the layout exactly in the same way as you can see. So this is how your setting apps looks like guys and uh, this is android n and this is android m so you can take a look and how are the things are similar and what are things are different or uh, things first things uh, that you will notice on the android n is we got this hamburger layout and this is pretty much same as you can see uh, we got all the options here for example this wireless and device here if you go to the device uh, you will see all the same stuff here all things are just uh, moved to in a collapsed area and done then you go to the personal, uh, we see the, all the things here, location, security, Google, language input, backup and reset. In the system, uh, we got this date and time, accessibility, printing, developer option. System UI tuner, system UI tuner is already enabled by default uh, on the Android N. And we got this about phone, about phone has been moved up and down, you can see. Uh, there's been some reorder and shuffling, so let's come back to the original stage. And this is visible to at any place, uh, you, you can go to any section, for example here, and you can come back here and click the home button. One thing has been removed here, as you can see, and the devices. Uh, the home section, uh, I guess, uh, don't confuse with this home and this home. This is for the home screen changing, and this is for the going to the main one. So, already I've shown you guys how you can change the uh, home screen uh, on the Android end because it may split up your device, but there is a trick to do that. So, this is the video title, you can check that and link in the show more notes. So, let's begin and see. The first thing you will notice that uh, this Android end uh, actually is some slight uh, more smarter now. It shows you exactly, for example, Wi Fi, which Wi Fi you're connected, Bluetooth, whether it's enabled or disabled. Without looking at the icons, you can show that. And data usage, it will show you guys exactly how much data has been used. And come to the more section, uh, you will see. Uh, we have uh, this emergency broadcast on the internet, but this is, has been removed. Uh, this has been moved to the user's emergency info here. Uh, it's not there and VPN, tethering hotspots and everything is same here. And But you got this hamburger here and click from there or swipe from here. This is standard material designs, Google's Angular material design concept. And we come back here and come to the device section. You can see if you remove the home. Uh, display it shows uh, what are the features, for example, uh, adaptive brightness everything is same except this uh, how this is showing guys you can say uh, it shows a display on total number 117 stats for me and sounds at what percentage of ringer level storage it shows exactly this is very nice uh, without going internally you can check that here you can see a uh, 13.4 gigs of free battery it shows approximately uh, even though battery has been much improved here they have improved those here so you can see it shows a battery life also and if you come here, uh, let's, let's see how, how much the difference in battery comparison to both. This is what you can see. Uh, this Android N has been, uh, you can see, it's more redefined and refined way. You can, it's showing the battery stuff. So you can see exactly there's been some changes. And uh, if you open there, battery saver here, you, you have to come battery saver here. But here it has been moved to directly to here. We can turn that off and off here. Because sometimes people don't find that and don't see the battery saver is there or not. And since uh, graph is also much optimized, you can see. Uh, it shows a completely, you can see the white line is there. This is complete uh, stuff when your phone has been powered off. Uh, this is the time my phone was powered off. So this shows that one and exactly the graph is also pretty much smarter and how much is used. You can see this is time when I was sleeping. So those are working very fine. And also it shows a lot of stuff here. Android and UI, Google services. Uh, this is not showing here. And if you come back here, uh, coming to the memory, let's see what other stuff here. So memory is also has been a bright most uh, everything is same except the free and this is also same uh, three hours three hours one point it shows memory usage i think it's taking more battery because i have both same number of apps here i don't know why it is taking consuming more ram obviously i will check that in later and see come back and see let's see the users options so users has been pretty much added here. You can see uh, by default add user when the device is logged. This is emergency information. There you can post a lot of stuff. So when your device is logged, emergency contact, 
emergency number, your house address, blood type, so many things. I already have shown you how you can enable that. I will show you guys later. And now come back. Location, security, everything is stuff same. And accounts, language input, backup reset. It shows you the email address, what you're using, uh, but except that it's not showing here. And the same way it's shown in the back. So kind of nice uh, if you're using multi accounts on that one. Let's see what are the stuffs in the Google. It's differences there. So here also, um, most things are same as you can see. Nothing much change here. And security, we can also see what are the stuffs change in the security. So everything is same pretty much. And uh, some slight uh, you know, things on layout, you can say a kind of bigger layout. This is single stuff smartphone here and smart lock, sorry, encrypted password, automatically lock. They have just reshuffled icons here. Their Nexus imprint for fingerprint setup because it's fingerprint scanner. So a bit, bit change here. Smart lock was down and this was moved to up. So slight reordering. This is smart lock here and this has been moved to up in there. So nothing much new features added here. So this is kind of same. No need to worry about that. And if we come back, okay, it's moved. Pretty much everything is same now. And system UI tuner, we will see uh, some of the options here. The, this is also some demo mode. As it is has been uh, turned off in the demo mode because maybe this is preview build or by default it is enabled. That's why. And the, they got the color and appearance. You can calibrate the RGB stuff here in case you want to change. And the night mode has been already added. Uh, if you go to the night mode, you can turn that on. So by default, uh, it has this. It is not working. Sometimes it's broken. Sometimes it's not. Uh, since the preview, that but I used to turn off because it's getting turned on automatically. Sometimes, sometimes not. So I made it turned off. So this is how the system UI tuner. Uh, come to the about phone and let's see uh, whether everything is same or not. So build number we got uh, reshuffled here. Build number is down here. Uh, Base band version, kernel version uh, somewhere it is not same. Yep, everything is same. Uh, if you come regulatory legal, so things are same. Uh, this is Android N and you can see this is Android M. So kind of nice. Uh, and if you see, we miss anything. Also, uh, we got here more of the control for the data saver. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys here, data usage. So this has been much, they got a built-in uh, data saver, mobile data saver for the uh, network. And it is very nice for Android N actually you can control it will disable all the apps running apps it will keep on checking time to time uh, but not uh, always uh, it will save a lot of data data i can say uh, that's why i prefer to use an lte network but due to some stuff so i was in mobile here wi-fi sorry so here it shows a graph but since uh, i'm not there's no sim card here so that's why it's not putting on the graph and everything is nice here so this is how uh, developer option is almost same nothing changed at all so pretty much i've seen everything uh, things are same Quite have some change here, for example, some ordering change in native apps are down, it was here and follow force all apps on external. This option is now here force uh, activities to be resizable. So different, different stuff guys. Uh, this is for the multi window support. Uh, that is why you can do some change and reordering here. I will make a separate video in coming soon for the multi window, especially how you can use and do things. Yes, everything is same. So pretty much everything uh, we have seen guys in the settings stuff, what we have here, what we don't have here. And uh, let's again visit to this uh, things here. You can see this is how uh, you see the setting already is a detailed video is covered. You can check that and get the link in the show more notes and directly everything can go there and visit there. So this is how guys the setting stuffs work for this Android N versus Android M. And do let me in the comments uh, what do you think about that. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to watch more. And thanks again for watching this video, guys. I'll talk to you very soon. Have a nice day ahead.